Peace and blessings, everybody. Rob YB, Youngblood, founder of the Collaboration Creates Currency Movement, coming at you. Hope you're having a wonderful, blessed, and productive day. I'm excited because, you know, it's all it's often that I get chances to do conversations. Like, I do these collaboration conversations often with people. And today, I have Yvette Freeman with me, uh, someone who I've had a chance to talk to uh, previously, but before we hit the record button, I told her I want to be a blessing to her. I want to help her to increase her visibility, her credibility, and her profitability because she's got something great to share with the marketplace. And I think by being in this platform, it'll help her to, to make that type of impact. So Yvette, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm blessed by the best and truly excited about the opportunity to talk to you today. So Yvette, I'm not going to steal your thunder. Can you introduce yourself and tell us what is it that you have that's so amazing uh, that's making an impact in your market? Well, I am a publisher of the magazine uh, called The Envoy Guide. It is a digital magazine, although I used to be able to print. Unfortunately, don't have enough support for that, but I just... Uh, had my upcoming issue, which is the March, April issue printed uh, in samples for a presentation I've got coming up. And it's all about artificial intelligence. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love this magazine. It is probably a passion project of mine, um, more so than anything else. And I uh, look forward to sharing that with the world. And in addition to that, I'm also a portrait photographer and owner of Red Angle Photography. I'm based in Hendersonville, North Carolina. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you and I, we connected on LinkedIn, right? So we had a chance yes. to connect on LinkedIn. Um, what inspired you to launch the, the magazine? Basically, during 2020, when we're all in lockdown and seeing so many businesses actually go under because they couldn't adapt to what the new norm has now become. Mm -hmm. um, and many people were losing their jobs, but yet they're also starting jobs or starting um, new businesses of their own, I kept thinking, why isn't there some resource for people who are like me, who are existing small business owners who need exposure, who need to learn how to change with the times, mm -hmm. who are struggling with exposure, with basic tips like marketing tips, how to run your business, how to start a business, um, how to get new clients. I kept thinking there needed to be a resource for that, and there wasn't one. And in particular, here in my area, Western North Carolina, there are some beautiful magazines here, but none of them regularly and consistently featured people of color. Mm. None of them. I had lived here for 10 years prior to starting the magazine, and I could count on two fingers how many times a person of color was on the cover mm. of any of those magazines. So... I decided there needed to be a resource, and if nobody else was going to do it, I would at least throw my hat in there and, and create it myself. And since then, it's practically become a full-time job, um, which I love, um, and I get to give exposure to so many other businesses and entrepreneurs like myself who are struggling, who have wonderful, what I think are great, unique products, and we just need the exposure and the information to get it out there and be successful. Yeah, I love that. You know, I, I'm in the PR space, and so I know how important it is to have outlets like yours, uh, where artists, speakers, authors, entrepreneurs, you name it, uh, they, they could benefit from being part of not only your magazine, but other publications that allows for them to increase their visibility, credibility, and profitability. Let, let's put a pause in the magazine for a second and tell us about yourself. Like, where are you from originally? I, I you, you know, I, I had an opportunity to talk to a, a fellow Bell, uh, right? And so I, so I told her, I said, listen, I was on the phone and you came up because every time I think about these Bells, right? I won't, spo I won't spoil it for you. I want you to tell the people what I'm talking about. But whenever I come across these Bells, you know, I always think about one of my good friends, uh, Naomi Carter. So talk a little bit about your background and tell us what, what is this Bells that I'm that I'm talking <laughs> Well, I'm originally from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, but uh, I had the fortune of attending Bennett College, uh, the Bennett Bells in Greensboro, which is, which is an historically Black all-female college, and uh, graduated magna cum laude in 1990, so I'm older than I look. Um, had a degree in interdisciplinary studies. That's what they called it at the time, but it's basically communications. 
And uh, from there, I've worked in broadcast news. I've worked in radio a uh, newspaper. I was community news editor for the Winston-Salem Journal many, many, many years ago. Um, from there, moved to Arizona and worked for um, Arizona Newspapers Association, the Airline Pilots Association as their directors of communication, mm -hmm. and um, then moved to Texas and was um, communications director for the American Lung Association. So a lot of communications background, desktop publishing. I was always a one person department, right. which uh, helped prepare me for this because I'm a one person publisher and uh, basically doing everything myself. And so that kind of prepared me and got me interested in doing this type of work as well. And in 2015, started my photography company, Red Angle Photography, after, well, actually before that, I was in higher education publishing and uh, worked for Pearson Education for 11 years. And in 2015, my mom was actually um, diagnosed with Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and needed really flexibility and the ability to be on call for her. And so I decided that's when I would do the photography business so I could have flexibility, yet still do something that I actually enjoyed, which was photography. And uh then 2020 came up with the magazine concept and the first issue published of the Envoy Guide in March of 2021. So now I'm not only a photographer, but I'm a magazine publisher. And so you literally created an opportunity for yourself based on your background, your professional background and certain skills that you acquired. Talk a little bit about the importance of collaboration, right? So as you know, you know, I'm, I'm the founder of the Collaboration Creates Currency Movement. I authored a book, Collaboration Creates Currency but what, what is your take on collaboration and who are you looking to collaborate with as a result of the work that you're doing? You mentioned that you are a one woman shop and, and, you know, you're still making things happen, but, but surely if you had the right people, you, you, this could grow uh, some more. So, so one, what does collaboration look like for you? And specifically, who do you want to attract uh, as a result of, of this, of this interview, but as a result of the work that you're doing? Well, collaboration is essential. Um, like I said, I do mostly do everything myself, but I am fortunate enough to collaborate with writers, other business owners and entrepreneurs and people all over the country. Uh, the magazine is not just for Western North Carolina. I feature people who are in California, Indiana, Texas, Oklahoma, all over the country. And it, I consider it collaboration because they're helping me create the best magazine possible. And it's not only giving me content, but it's giving exposure to these other writers, entrepreneurs, giving exposure for their businesses, their expertise. One of the reasons I created the magazine, in addition to not only providing resources, was providing an outlet for people to see people of color mm -hmm. and women and basically anyone who has a message to share, um, get exposure and be seen as experts and subject matter experts. Mm -hmm. Now, the magazine, I, I keep mentioning people of color, it's for everyone. It is the most inclusive magazine in this area, I believe, because I don't want to exclude people. We all have voices um, we all have knowledge and experience that we can share with each other and learn from each other. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's part of the collaboration process where every feature that I have, I'm asking people, what are your challenges as a business owner, as an artist? What are the solutions you're coming up with? And hopefully that can help someone else who may be experiencing the same challenges, who may be thinking about opening that same business how they can help learn from that. And we can all collaborate and say, here's how we can stop making the same mistakes mm -hmm. and actually learn from each other and share our wisdom and knowledge. So for me, collaboration is not only partnering with people who can not only write and provide content, um, but also just share their stories with me, um, who can help um, the magazine by subscribing, by advertising, because I see it as a circle where if I can provide exposure and they can get new business and clients, then hopefully they can learn more about the magazine and we can all support each other mm -hmm. and have stronger communities. Yeah, that's great. That's great. As we begin to land the plane, Yvette, tell us more, how can people learn more about you and how can people learn more about the uh, the magazine? 
Uh, they can learn more about me. I'm on social media, read on um, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, as either Red Angle Photography or the Envoy Guide uh, magazine. Um, they can contact uh, me via email, info at theenvoyguide.com. And my website is www.theenvoyguide.com. So I try to be um, on social media as much as possible. I don't update it as much as I should, but I I do try my best. I also have a free uh, e-newsletter for people. They can sign up for that on my website. Mm -hmm. And I'm also, I just forgot, I'm on Alignable and was just uh, the other day just voted the Zirconia, North Carolina 2024 Local Business Person of the Year, which I'm wow, proud of. So that is, That's tremendous. Um, that was quite a surprise. So um, I'm very honored to actually um, have that honor and designation as well. I love it. Well, I, I'm so grateful that uh, you blessed me with the opportunity to, to interview you. Obviously, we were having a conversation and I said, listen, <laughs> hit the record button and uh, let's let's put this out to the masses. And the reason why I do that, folks, is because I believe in the power of collaboration. Right. I want to see that win. Uh, I myself want to win, but I recognize that in order for me to get what I want, I've got to help other people to get what they want. And so what what Yvette wants is for her to be able to impact more lives through her magazine. She wants to attract more readers, more sponsors. She wants to attract more uh, subject matter experts. So as you listen to this, uh, this, this recording and, and you watch this over and over and you share this with your network, understand that. Collaboration is not about what you get, it's about what you give. Uh, when you understand your gifts, your gaps, and your goals, and when you enter into conversations with people, you will attract opportunities to collaborate in such a way that everyone wins, but you have to focus on transformation and not transaction. This is Rob YB Youngblood, founder of the Collaboration Creates Currency Movement, truly grateful for the opportunity to empower, inspire, and impact people uh, so that they can live out their God-given purpose. Make sure to follow us on uh, LinkedIn at the Collaboration Creates Currency Movement. Uh, check us out on YouTube, the Collaboration Creates Currency Movement. And of course, you can catch me on my favorite platform, LinkedIn, Rob YB Youngblood. Be encouraged, be blessed, but most of all, be faithful over the gift that you've been given. And remember, your gift will make room for you. We'll see you later. Peace.